he could use some rain. Yeah, yeah. It, yesterday we had, I don't know, maybe a couple of drops here mm -hmm. and there. It was pretty yeah. dry down across southwestern Colorado where they really needed. We had a bit more. Uh, take a look at the drought monitor, though, and you've got two pockets where we're in an exceptional drought down across southwestern Colorado and then down to the southeast and then abnormally dry over really the northern half of the state. So this just updated yesterday, and obviously it looks a lot like it did at the beginning of the season, very dry down to the south and west. Uh, today we're going to be under some pretty dry conditions again. We'll be in the low 80s by noon, 87 by about 3 o'clock. We might get one or two isolated storms popping up, but like yesterday, uh, well, we'll see most of it down to the southwest. I'll show you that the hourly uh, future cast coming up. Temperatures today pretty close to normal. We're typically right around 90 this time of year, and we'll be in the upper 80s. Very few storms expected here in town, and it's actually going to get quite a bit warmer tomorrow. We'll see some low to mid 90s on Saturday. Waking up to some 60s, though, this morning. Winds are southwest at 5 miles per hour, and we've got some dry conditions. A little cloud cover out to the east, but that's going to clear up. Overall, satellite and radar is pretty quiet early on. Uh, it won't be until really midday that we'll start to see a few more storms down to the southwest. 9 o'clock, we're at 73 in Denver, 76 in Greeley. So it's a nice warm-up. It's not going to happen quite as early as what we saw uh, really all week long. We'll be at 82 by 1. And again, you'll see down near Telluride, Durango, Gunnison, Better chance for a few slower moving storms. So flash flood concern still uh, uh, down near the burn scars this afternoon through early evening. One or two isolated storms possible under a partly cloudy sky by about five and six o'clock tonight. So we'll have details on your Rockies game coming up in just a few minutes. It looks like it's going to be a hot game, though, tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the 90s tomorrow. We'll start off on Saturday in the mid to upper 60s, and then we'll be at about 92 to 95 degrees by five o'clock. So just a couple of hours before the start of that game. One or two storms down to the southeastern corner of the state. We have a better chance of getting some rain and a little lightning and thunder here here in town on Sunday. It's also a little cooler. We'll see some mid to upper 80s on Sunday, and then we'll stay in the 80s into the first of next week. So far looking ahead uh, into the middle of next week, things are going to get pretty warm. We've got more low to mid 90s expected Tuesday into Thursday. So far, Jace, this season, 30 days either at or above 90 degrees. So Are we going to go with an over-under yet on how many we're going to get overall? Oh, this is always fun. All right, like let's 50 or 60, somewhere in there, right? I'm going to say 55. 55.